Good morning guys and happy Thursday. So my ob rotation is pretty much all but over. Um, tomorrow is the shelf exam on Friday and then it's officially over and then I start Christmas break. But I'm pretty happy with um, the way this rotation went. I really learned a lot. Um, I had some goals coming in about, you know, women's health and the things I want to learn. And I feel like walking out at the end of this eight weeks, like I feel really knowledgeable and like I mastered like, you know, the skills for this rotation. So that's a good feeling. I really didn't have that feeling after um, after my surgery rotation, which I had previously. But yeah, this really is such a great specialty. I understand why people would be interested in going into it. Um, it's a no for me, though. Just just not a good fit for me, but it is an amazing specialty. Um, so yeah, we had a lot of different like exams and little tests to do before our actual shelf tomorrow. Like last Friday we had our practicum. Um, it's pretty much like a short answer right, written um, exam. And then we had our OSCE that day. So we had, four, that's like the standardized clinical exam. We had four different patient encounters. Um, and then we had our oral exam, which we took on Tuesday. So you sit in front of like two of the attendings. They're just asking you questions and you just have to vocal answer them so um that was kind of um I was kind of nerve-wracking that was my first ever oral exam I think for a lot of us our first ever oral and to be put on the spot like that and to have to think it's kind of difficult but it went well and then we had our final 50 question quiz on Tuesday um so yeah I've been off on Wednesday today's Thursday off again so just been full days of studying um and preparing for the show tomorrow but I feel pretty good um i finished up all of hey um i finished up all of the u world question bank um i'm just going over my misses i have about 60 questions left of my misses um i've been doing some of the mbmes and those have been going well so yeah I'm just ready to get this exam over with i'm just gonna head over to the um coffee shop right now those down packed because those can be sometimes like easy to get mixed up i didn't start the euro questions yet um once i get home to do that so i'll check in with you guys tomorrow morning on exam day hey guys so i am done with my exam um actually back home at my parents house for um christmas break but yeah exam went well um i felt like i was well prepared for it um kind of like compared to my surgery shelf i was definitely prepared for that but compared to like actually taking it like at the end i was running out of time and rushing this one i had plenty of time i had time to go back and um you know review my mark questions so i think i did good overall i should have my score back next week um and so yeah christmas break has begun we have like a two and a half week um break so i'm just gonna be relaxing and um you know enjoying this time off um tomorrow i'm actually going to st louis for um stanley's graduation so yeah that should be fun and exciting um but in the meantime i need to help uh, head to the nail salon because i need to get my nails done um before then so i'll see you guys tomorrow <laughs> Um, 
I was well, I was unpacking last night, but I was going through my bag last night and I did not have this shirt in there that I packed to wear to the graduation, which is so annoying, but I had a backup shirt, so I'm just gonna go with that. But yeah, today is Stanley's graduation. Um super super proud of him, super excited. Um because now that he's done, um he got his um masters in engineering computer and electrical engineering but now that he's done no more long distance he's moving to Atlanta so I'm super excited about that so no more flights to uh, St. Louis I remember during second year um, I would go pretty often like after an exam vlog um, and then like during the holidays he would come down to Atlanta we just go back and forth but oh my gosh no more of that I'm so happy that the long distance is done as you can see on my face <laughs> Hopefully this weather can clear up. It is supposed to be um, raining up there as well, but it's supposed to stop the ceremonies at one. The rain is supposed to stop like around 11 or 12. So hopefully it does. And all right, I am about to board some. I have landed short like hour and a half not even an hour and a half flight um i can already feel the cold i'm just gonna wait in here until he gets here christmas carols going on over there i started reading um michelle obama's book becoming a flight um long. hopefully i will be able to finish it over the uh, christmas break though graduation time you ready yeah, how you again. feeling huh how's that again? Yeah, oh yeah, he's graduating. From uh, S I U E. Okay. Uh, Bellevue, Lindenwood University has their graduation today. Thank you. Have a good day. All right, so it's graduation time. How you feeling? You ready? Yes, I am. It's cold. Ooh. It's exciting. <laughs> All right, we just had to stop really quick in front of the um, SIU sign and take some pictures. We got some good shots too. All right, let's head to campus now. You may now move the tassel from right to left. graduates, please be seated for closing remarks and exit instructions. headed back to Atlanta. Stanley's whole apartment is packed up, so we're turning this into a road trip. <laughs> uh, how many hours is the drive there? Eight. Eight hour road trip this morning. I'll probably drive like three of those eight hours. Oh my oh, goodness, no. I'm not ready for this. Um, but yeah, headed back to Atlanta. Bye bye to Illinois and St. Louis uh, forever. Um, Make sure you guys subscribe. I'm not sure if I'm gonna vlog over the Christmas break. Let me know if you guys wanna see Vlogmas. Um, if not, then I'll just be uploading when my psychiatry rotation starts back in um, in January. So yeah, make sure to give the video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Quick question. What kind of drivers are y'all? Are y'all the one where it's like, if your passenger is sleeping, you force them to wake up? <laughs> or are you the type that lets, that lets your passenger enjoy and sit back and relax? Apparently I can't take a little nap because he's up driving. That'll be a long road trip. So if I sleep, he said he's gonna pull over on the side of the road so we can both take a nap together. 